Hey, this is Chris. I'm down in Southern California today helping deliver some boulders to a low water landscape project. What most people are going to be finding out over the next few years after they've put in their decorative rock and it's gone to a complete mess because of weeds is that they have one of three very, very difficult to control weeds. Most people, almost everyone, would think this is a grass, but this is not a grass. Like right here, we have a little crabgrass seedling germinating and growing out. Fairly easy to control with Roundup or even a couple other herbicides. And down here, I see another little evil one. Right here is a sedge. They have a triangular stem to them. They are not a grass, they are a sedge. Ah, there's another little evil one emerging right there. Sedges are extremely difficult to control. I can only speak as a expert on such matters in the western US. That we have three sedges, two are really hard, yellow and purple nut sedge. And we're gonna see right here, I believe this is purple nut sedge. It's been a little while since I had to deal with weeds. So I am a state licensed weed control expert with a senior level license. Probably the only person in the rock industry with that. And here we have a sedge that's a couple years old. This cannot be killed with Roundup. Might burn the leaves, but you'll never kill it. It'll just keep getting more and more. And you can see what happens is it has its base here, but it's already sending a root system off over to here. This root system will create another plantlet. If a gardener comes along and hose this out or pulls it up, the only snaps this off, it'll cause this right here to begin to send up a new plant. You yank this out, you'll create several plants in the process. Let's see how far it goes. Look at that, one plant is going all the way over to there. You can already see it was getting ready to merge out of the soil with a new plant right there. A little insidious monster. An acre of this will all produce an acre of potatoes. It produces a little nut-like seed in the late summer fall. You see, here's another one doing the same thing. This is not something you control with weed fabric, weed cloth, won't do anything for something like this. I ain't of two or three layers wood. This is just a nightmare. There is an herbicide that controls nut sedges. That's a different story. Anyways, know the difference between Bermuda grass, regular grasses, and sedges, and don't let your landscaper tell you, oh, I'll put some weed fabric over that. Cover that up, no problem at all. Oh, bullshit. This will ruin a rock landscape.